Brian the Bear Burgos, as we said, originally from Honduras, emigrated at nine, returned there to win gold medals in the IFMA tournament and Pan Am Games. He told us, you know, his goal is to one day fight for the WBC title and fight for one championship. He said, I don't take anyone lightly because every pro has something to prove and they will try to destroy what's ever, whatever is in front of them. Yeah, and but you know, no truer words were spoken ever spoken. Absolutely, and I, I don't mean to cut you off, Perfect. but he is a guy though that respects everyone. When it's time, when it's time to go, I mean, he's one of the scariest guys in this game, and the way that he finishes fights. Aaron Perkins comes to the ring out of Rigoro Gym. Ricky Vizaleu and Martin Shism at his, his coaches. He has oh, he started three years old in Kyokushin Karate. Has over 150 wins there, and he says his style is almost like a hybrid style. It's got karate, boxing. He's trained. He's a lifelong martial artist and truly a student of the game. Yeah, and you see it in the way that he fights. He's very measured. He's very technical. He's for this level. I mean, he's very smooth. You're not going to see that out of a lot of other guys. Uh, his experience shines through in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds in our pro division at 165 pounds. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He steps through the ropes with a fight record of two wins, zero losses. Representing King's Combat, he's known as the Bear, Brian Burgos. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He steps through the ropes with a six and two amateur record. Fighting out of Riga Road Gym, the apex predator, Aaron Perkins. And the man in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Mr. John Paul Zuniga. This is truly a clash of styles, the karate oh, stylist yeah. with, the, with the kickboxing experience. And then Brian Burgos, strictly kickboxing and Muay Thai. This is Burgos' 40th fight, and this is Aaron Perkins' 17th fight. So again, another experience difference in this particular rule set. Yeah, and this is good. Like you said, I, you put it perfectly. A matchup that is made in heaven for these styles. And you're gonna see a very a lot of technicality out of these two guys, but of course, as we talked about, Burgos is gonna go in for the kill. I want to see how Perkins reacts, right? Because usually he's really good at handling pressure, and a similar guy to Burgos is, is Rodriguez. And Perkins seemed to fare pretty well, so I, I want to see how he's going to be able to get himself out of trouble here and maybe look for his own shots. K-Series main event, Brian Burgos versus Aaron Perkins, Liam Tarrant, and Jacob Koopman joining you here for this main event of our inaugural K-Series promotion and already great pressure from Burgos Ooh, but nice great uppercut. combinations and uppercuts to your point for Perkins stinging him there with that cross and this is Perkins game Perkins gonna back up back up back up and Burgos gonna get a little bit greedy and Perkins gonna sting him for it but the question remains is that gonna be enough to win him this fight Tries nice. to score with the teep kick there. Nice inside kick for Burgos as well. Trying to score with the knee is Burgos. Now, it seems like Perkins is moving in very straight lines as far as when he's moving backwards. Yeah, and then trying to circle out when he gets to the ring side. Nice left hand there for Burgos. Nice head movement too from Perkins. Ooh, oh, solid right hand. And this, this can't continue, you know, especially what we talked about with the coaching criteria tonight. This looks real bad for Perkins if Perkins can't intelligibly defend himself. The volume is definitely all on the side of Burgo so far. He has sinister connotations and deadly applications, so Perkins has got to start putting it on him. They call Perkins Apex for a reason. He's got power of his own. I think he, what he's trying to do, it looks like, is to score when Burgos comes in. He's looking to load up on one big shot, but so far Burgos has just been able to outvolume him. Burgos doing a real good job of still pressuring, just keeping on Perkins, making him real uncomfortable. He's really not giving him space to breathe whatsoever. He is not, no, and a guy like Perkins needs that space to set up his own offense. And a slip there from Perkins. 
Burgos just unloading with combinations. Perkins continues on the back foot, backpedaling. Burgos continuing to apply his game. Remember what we said about K1 judging, folks, about maximum output, maximum damage. Right, so this looks really good for Burgos. I mean, barring something insane happening, I'd say that you give this first round to Burgos. I would say it's been all Burgos so far. I mean, that's not to say that Perkins hadn't landed good shots. He's had shots. his moments. He's had yeah. his moments. But it's just not, it doesn't seem like it's enough, at least for this first round. All right. And that Woo! is the end of our first of three scheduled three minute rounds. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, like you mentioned before there, Coop, I'd, I'd like if we could hear the, have a mic in the corner to hear what the yeah. corners are saying. You have Dave, crew Dave Moy in the King's Combat corner there speaking to Burgos. And of course, in the corner of Perkins, you have uh, young Phenom, again, who's cornered all the other athletes tonight, Mike Frezza. Always a pleasure to watch that guy fight. Um, I mean, yeah, you, to your point, you have to think, right? Like, if you're in the, the corner of Perkins, you're telling him, uh, let's, let's getting on your bike and more so moving forward. I want maybe more volume, more combinations. You know, he is doing a good job of angling off, but it's out of necessity not to facilitate his own offense. So maybe a little bit more angling and trying to get in with combinations, utilizing his kicks more so. So we'll see here in this second round if Perkins can change the trajectory of this fight or if Burgos is gonna continue in the way it's been. Hey, that's been some of the stories of the other fights. You know, guys have had not so yep. stellar first rounds and then they come out and they're able to adjust. Perkins may have been waiting, especially with a guy like Perkins with that varied background of so many different disciplines. You never know he might pull something out that right. you just ex don't expect comes from a weird angle. Yeah, and, and that's good. I mean, he's throwing that push oh, pretty well, but Bur he might be hurt here. I think Burgos is going in for the kill right now. He's trying yeah. to put, put him away. That push kick was good out of Perkins. Burgos going for those knees to the head. Burgos just staying on Perkins like white on rice. Burgos' goal, as we said, the WBC championship or to fight in, end of fight in one championship. He sees everybody in front of him as get, trying to get in his way of doing that. And he's fighting like it. Unloading on Perkins here. Perkins has got to do something. This is not looking There's good. There's going to be an eight count here, it looks like. Yep. Perkins has got... That will yeah. be a standing eight for Perkins. And it's, you know, with these, these rule sets, not even guys are necessarily injured or hurt. It's just like you take two seconds to shell up and turn your back even a little bit. It, it's, it's all optics. One minute and 57 remain in this second round. And Burgos doing a good job of building on this lead he has. Nice shots from Burgos. Burgos, what clean boxing. Very, very yeah. slick boxing, yeah. And good job mixing it up downstairs and upstairs. Keeping Perkins busy with his defense. Nice body shot on the way out. There seems to be some blood. I'm not sure yep. if it's coming out of Perkins. I would assume it is. And every time. Oh! oh strong shots first. coming in. Nice offerings from Perkins there, but Burgos continues to just pressure. Perkins, uh, Perkins continues to have his moments in here when you see yeah. those punches coming in the power coming through. It's when those, he gets those counter opportunities. He doesn't let him go to waste, but it's just not enough. Repeated knees from Burgos. This might be stopped soon. Perkins is not presenting, and that's yep. the ref has seen it. You, you called it right there, Coop. The ref, JP Zuniga, had seen enough. Perkins not presenting any kind of an answer to what Brian Burgos was presenting. And Brian Burgos walks away with his third professional victory to move on to 3 and 0. Oh. And man, what a scary prospect for anyone else in this weight division, huh? Yikes. <laughs> yeah, indeed. It's a guy that just doesn't stop coming at you. And Perkins is immensely talented. And to do that to him, I mean. I mean, yeah, and that's the thing is, is these top level guys, they're fighting guys who are also top level. So you definitely can't take anything from them whatsoever. Let's see a replay here. Yeah. We're gonna see how some of this action went down. And just body shots after body shots. He was scoring with those knees. And after a while, the referee had seen enough. I believe you can this see is the stoppage. ref just keeping an eye yeah. on Perkins and seeing, yeah, the ref had definitely, as you, as you mentioned, the ref had seen enough and just said, 
Not a bad stoppage. No, no, not at all. I mean, you know, just to remind you folks, the referee's job is not to make it a good fight. His job is to make sure the rules are followed and the fighters are safe. Yeah. In his uh, in his expert determination, Ref J.P. Zaniga said, that's enough. Yeah. This now is going go one direction and it's not turning back. Yeah, let's go over to Falvo here for the official decision in the ring. How about a round of applause for these two great fighters and a great main event, ladies and gentlemen. Referee John Paul Zuniga has called a stop to the fight at two minutes, eight seconds into round number two. For your winner, by way of TKO, Brian Burgos. And listen, what a way to end off the night. Three finishes. I mean, couldn't have Ladies asked for a better event. We want to thank you for joining us this evening here at the beautiful Melrose Ballroom. It